Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. And today, <clears throat> I want to inform you guys, because I don't, I haven't really done one of these type of videos in a while, but uh, the amount of videos I'm be sending out, you know, as of right now, is going to be just a little slow. Um, only reason being is because of, I'm getting a new computer, um, and this is a whole story time, it's going to be kind of crazy here. But for first off, I want to show you guys um, the actual computer. I kind of already like semi built it off or whatever. Um, but I am going to show you guys exactly like you know what computer it is and everything. Um, but I'll tell you guys the story here in a second because you know I'm, I'm obviously using my phone here for a second. So I'm going to set it down right here. I know it's going to be like. The old ways of how I used to do videos, you know, I used to just set my phone up and just go on with it. Um, so the main key takeaway here uh, for the story is that back in April, I bought a pre-built um, Alienware Aurora R13 um, because that's all that's one thing I could afford at the time. And the problem was I got it off of Amazon and it said that it was new. Okay. It said it was new, so I was fine with that. I was like, okay, awesome, it's a new Dell computer, and it was only like 900 bucks. So I uh, I did this little firm thing where I'd pay, you know, um, I think it was like 50 some dollars a month, I believe is how much it was, until I accidentally paid the whole thing, all, all the whole $900 off, you know, about a month ago, and I, that was my car repair money that I had, you know, saved. So my the computer's still sitting over here. Well, long story short, the computer started having some issues and it's been having issues and I first noticed it when I when I bought Diablo 4 and I started playing Diablo 4 on it and the graphics card was the uh, AMD Radeon 6600 XT which was definitely better than what Diablo 4 said I needed to run so it shit it out like it, it's it's seriously just overheated and then it, you know it made my entire computer just turn off turn itself off everything so i at the time i wasn't really accustomed to taking apart computers and everything i started watching more videos and then i just started playing with the computer myself looking at the parts and everything and i finally got just recently i finally got you know you know the confidence to actually take it apart myself so what i found So, again, remember this. I got this off of Amazon. So what I found was that uh, the parts that were inside the computer weren't even Alienware parts. It's like if this somebody stripped the parts off and just replaced the parts in there with $10. Keep in mind, Amazon said this was new. There was nothing in there that said it was a pre-owned computer. Like when I went back on it, it has new Dell PC. It says new. So I was assuming I was getting a new Dell computer for a pretty good price, okay? So, um, this is the power supply that it came with. Now, when I looked up the more research on it, Alienware R13 comes with a 750 watt PSU, okay? They come with a 750 watt. This, if you can see here, hopefully it like focuses itself, or I'll try to focus it one or the other. Come on. This says 460. 400 and 60 watts you you got to be kidding me so the, the keep it so to keep in mind the yeah right there for you you guys didn't see it, it's right there 460 watt so for reference the graphics card that i had that i was running which was again the radeon 6600 xt that needs 500 watts of power supply in order to run it properly because when i had my own computer which i gave to my fiance the hp victus that had the amd radeon 36 i believe it was i don't remember exactly what it was but it ran pretty well the processor was pretty good it was the ryzen 5 it, it ran pretty good it was a pretty good computer so i got this one and hoped that it was going to be an upgrade because of the graphics card i was completely wrong because they shit it out on the power supply, which in turn would have shitted out my whole computer if I, you know, decided to not take it apart and, you know, keep using it. Because it, 
I could notice a few discrepancies about it, you know, getting not so good and when everything. So I replaced the uh, the rear fan, the the front fans and the rear fan. Um, I also bought a new CPU fan, which doesn't even work. The, the the brackets don't even work right. The sizes that I got it for it wasn't, you know, isn't even the right size for it. So I ended up getting 750 watt power supply fitted inside of there, which was $200 by the way. $200 for a 750 watt power supply off of eBay because you can't find the parts hardly anywhere. So I said, hell with it. I don't need this stress. I'm going to sell the computer. I've upgraded it. I've reset it. Um, the fans, for some reason, kept detecting failure. So I turned off like a BIOS system. I turned it on, I think it was. Um, I went to the BIOS system, turned um, the, God, I forgot what it's called, like the power something on. Now it pops up some sort of message on the beginning, but it still, you know, boots up properly and everything but my issue is amazon sent me a computer that was new and it was not and they would they sent me a power supply with a gpu that eventually would have broke the computer because like that power supply was not good enough to run the motherboard 500 you know a 500 watt gpu it's just crazy I, it's just crazy because the last the hp victus i had had 450 400, 400 or 450 watts, one or the other, and I could not find, I actually could not find a good power supply for the HP Victus. They had like no parts whatsoever. So I, I got like a thermal take one, but it was way too big. So I ended up just sitting right here on the floor because I don't know what else to do with it. So my issue is, is that Amazon sent me that. It was crap. So I said hell with it. And I decided to get me a whole new one or not new one but decided to build my own and this time which this is just the motherboard for right now but i didn't put in the motherboard in here um and everything i just need the case so i got the amd ryzen 7 uh the tomahawk these two um uh sticks of ram the ddr5 rams i've had those and same for the uh the ssd stick i have in there and everything and literally all I need is the case. So unfortunately, um, the case actually has not come yet. I don't know where it is. Every time I look on Amazon, it says it's not here. But Amazon is the only place that I could go somewhere where I could pay it monthly because this was like an $1,800 computer. So I got to pay like $90 a month for the computer. $40 more than the one I was paying for this one. But I got the NVIDIA 4070. Uh, because I want to be able to run absolutely anything because I don't even I don't have 4k monitor I have a 1080p 165 hertz monitor and a 1440p 32 inch Samsung wide screen monitor That's mostly for editing. I don't I don't even use it for 90% of this, you know, a lot of stuff um, But This video was just pretty much to inform you guys that you know my video is gonna be slow coming But here's my parts right here. I just gotta wait for the case to come in and my graphics card and then I'll be good to go so my main gripe for this whole video again is just you know don't worry about the mess I just now realized that I'm messing my little closet up there <laughs> I should have shut the doors um but I think what I'm gonna do I'm over at the computer and I want to show you guys because it's a little annoying very irritating I watched a bunch of videos um because this is my first time that I've ever really done anything with com like building computer wise I watched a bunch of videos uh, when I grew up I never had like a computer really that you know to build or to play games on I had like a laptop you know but that's about it I've never had a gaming PC so this is my first time like kind of delving into this stuff so I'm still in the process of kind of learning everything um, as soon as I get my case stuff my graphics card in I can get this set up uh, I got Windows 11 already this you know all I need to do is type in the, the, the key access code for it. But uh, this is the first time I've ever built a computer. And I'm ready for it. Because <laughs> I'm going to reset my other one already. So my computer is going to be down for a little while. Um, again, I'm just waiting for my case to come in as all. Well. But I'll show you guys the inside of this computer over here. I may have to you know, loosen some screws or something like that. But um, yeah, I have to loosen one screw over here. Give me a second. My my little game room in here is just a little messy I apologize because I on top of oh my god I dropped my screwdriver 
because on top of my hobbies, you know, I work a lot. So I usually don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff that I'd like to do. Because of course, you know, I bought a new desk and everything too. And I set this, 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 I've had this desk for a little while now. It's been, it's been a couple weeks since I got the new desk. But, yeah, so. Alright, I'm gonna flip the camera. So here's the inside of the computer. So the CPU fan right here is what, you know, it came with. Um, and every single photo I've seen, it comes with, like, the actual Alienware logo and everything. Um, I got these fans online. The one of the videos I watched said that these fans are, like, really good. Uh, there's a graphics card. It came with a different one. Um, I sold that other graphics card because I'm still technically paying on this graphics card right here. Um, this one was also on the firm, which was like $350. But it's the same thing, AMD Radeon 6600 XT. Um, here's the power supply. That's the 750 watt power supply. So that is what is supposed to come in the computer. So when I did do that and I played a game you know, with the graphics card, it worked 100% fine. But I'm kind of just done with this computer in a whole, like, it's done made me so mad. Because now, when I turn it on, it would say, you know, the lower fan failure. And then it would say, you know, the rear fan failure all the time. And then I had to do some work with the BIOS earlier. But I probably could have removed these, but I chose not to. I just chose to leave them. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much the inside of the computer. I'm just... I'm so done with this damn thing. This thing is it made me mad so much. <laughs> but yeah, here's the the RAM stick that came with the computer as well. <laughs> it was just one stick of RAM, and the amount of space in here was like 500 gigs or something like that. So it was a real small, you know, amount. But here is the new one that I bought. I bought this one. It was like twenty dollars, I think. Um, and the I said the brackets, the bracket that it came with. I don't even see it. The brackets that it came with was not good whatsoever. But I will show you guys the fans that it came with as well. Because, you know, here are the fans that this had. When I look at the price for these fans, they were like $10 each. And they were loud. Like, they were crazy loud. And I, and I really didn't understand why. But this didn't even have, like, a power cooling thing like, you know, the the regular Aurora is supposed to come with. So, that's why I replaced the fans, because I was thinking maybe the GPU was getting too hot, because the fans need to do the cooling. And I was wrong. It was the power supply unit that needed to be replacing, but fans were replaced, PSUs replaced, and... Honest Christ, I just need to, I, I just need to get out of my house. <laughs> At this point, it still made me so mad. I'm so agitated with this stupid thing. Um... But when I get my new computer, hopefully the case comes tomorrow. It's 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 it said it was late. It was supposed to be here the same day as my other parts, but it popped up saying it was gonna be late. So the graphics card should be here next Tuesday. Um, but I can technically use this graphics card if I wanted to in my new computer over there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that to that computer over there. Um, but yeah, I am real excited. To use that computer with that motherboard. Um, never built a computer before. First time. I am sort of excited. But this is just just an information video. Um, if I do anything, it may be live streams. You know, uh, through the PlayStation, my PlayStation 5, because, you know, that's what I used to do before I started using my Elgato. I also ordered a new uh, capture card because I got tired of how bad, like, how bl kind of blurry it looked. Um, that was supposed to be here, but I think the same time, around the same time as my uh, graphics card, maybe a day before. It says the 28th to the 30th of August, so sometime or another. But this has been an unedited, unaltered video of me explaining stuff because I really have been wanting to live stream, and I, I like using the Elgato. It's just a lot convenient for me. Um, so I may end up streaming to the PlayStation. Um, but yeah other than that i don't know when i'm going to do live stream maybe tomorrow i might do a live stream tomorrow <laughs> i thought about it um but other than that thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed uh please leave a like comment and subscribe for more
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.